Well, some of the plywood that you see protecting stores and restaurants in U.S. cities has a new purpose. CBS 4's Laura Podesta spoke to artists who are using it to send a message. I can't breathe. During this summer's protests and looting, retailers in many major cities boarded up stores to protect their businesses. In these uncertain times, much of the plywood remains. Now artists are transforming these blank canvases. My biggest fear. Designer Alyssa Dorf tells me she volunteered more than eight hours of her time to paint a holiday scene in front of a pottery barn in New York City. It was kind of a funny way to start the day, seeing all of this plywood. And I wanted to create something that I could be excited about and bring some cheer to the neighborhood. The beige boards are also being used to make colorful political statements. Constance Patton and fellow artists created dozens of murals since the summer, many responding to the death of George Floyd. It was amazing because the day that I got out there, I saw about 200 people painting that day. Constance says she's now working to make sure when the plywood comes down, these works of art are saved and stored. So you want this movement to expand beyond just New York City? Absolutely. Yes. One organization in Minneapolis where Floyd was killed has the same plan. The founder of Save the Boards Minneapolis says she'd like to hold an exhibit at the Minnesota African American Heritage Museum. Any boards we see up on businesses, anywhere, they have art, they have graffiti on them, making sure that we can preserve them and keep them accessible and public to the community um, for that reason of healing. In Louisville, Kentucky, some artists are donating their murals for auctions to benefit the community. Constance and Alyssa say their ultimate goal is to see this street art spread hope. Laura Podesta, CBS News, New York.